family, how are you? It's Jaslyn at Abiding Artistry with Abiding Artistry. And we back, baby. My apologies. You know, I had to get some things situated. So last week I did not post. But here I am. Live in effect. I got some good, some good end rounds for you too. But how have you been doing, y'all? I hope everything is good. Hope all is well. Hope you're taking care of yourself. Hope you are taking care. I gotta slow down. <laughs> but I hope you're taking care of yourself. And um, yeah. I hope you're exfoliating, dry brushing. It's so funny because I tell my clients to do it all the time. But y'all, I know. But I ain't been doing it every day. <laughs> it's been like it's been recent since I've really gotten to dry brush it every day and but all over, you know. I've been doing it more so all over my body and it's like my, the texture of my skin is just it hit different, it feel different, it shine different. I'm like, hold on. I I've been missing a key ingredient a part of this good old regimen so you guys should probably start start to just dry brush all over and see how you feel give it like two weeks and see but anywho the topic for this week let me see it's been like it's really exerting all your energy y'all we gotta stop giving people our energy that don't deserve it literally it's like you know especially the ones that we love man they be knowing like the exact like word pressure point in your body something to just set it off and you are, you about to explode but I think and my healing journey has just been learning to learn how to respond even for the even towards the ones that know me you know and it's like well don't nobody know you hell we barely know ourselves we we evolving and growing every day but you know the ones that you're close to they you know they know what to say to you so you just respond and retaliate and you just give them so much energy and reality is you why are you giving people any form of energy? Why are you giving anybody any type of dose of anger? You know, for what? Because the response is just going to be energy leaving you. And I get it. I had a friend who's like, well, they get disrespectful. You know, I got to set the stage. And, you know, some people, you know, they just, they're going to have to say something. You know, and it's just how they are built. But I'm just learning to not engage and entertain all forms of, like, stupidity. Especially if I have to give them my energy. It's funny because it's this little story that I had. It was a meme or something on Instagram. But pretty much it was, like, a jaguar or, like, a tiger um and a deer they going back and forth on what color the grass is the deer like it's blue the grass is blue and the jaguar was like idiot it's it's um or the tiger was like it's blue i mean it's green what what are you talking about so like you know what let's go run this by the king of the jungle let's go to the lion and see what's up so the lion pretty much is like you know what's the jaguar or a tiger you gotta you have to roam the the jungle in silence for ten years. And he like, What? Why I gotta be quiet? The grass is green. So the line pretty much was like, You gonna have to roam and you gonna have to walk you know, roam the jungle in silence because you are gonna sit up there and engage with somebody damn i messed it up y'all let me run it back because something threw me off i'm in the target parking lot somebody ran across my bed okay let me go back let me go back but pretty much you're gonna sit up there and engage in conversation with stupidity why are you engaging with you know in this type of conversation why are you giving your energy 
towards a conversation when you already know what's up you already know the grass is green why are we talking about this sometimes we have to look at the situation or we have to look at who and why we you know what when whatever we are engaging and getting frustrated for when it probably don't even deserve any of the energy that we're giving it like I think really picking and choosing what you respond to is also mature. You know, it takes maturity. And that took growth for me. I ain't going to lie to you. Took me a couple of years. Okay. And I'm like, I want to say like these last past two years, I've really evolved into like a whole nother being for sure. But yeah, you guys, I'm mad I messed up that little story. But ultimately, don't, don't interact with stupidity don't give don't entertain foolishness don't give your energy to foolish people and um ask yourself why you triggered by it you know it's interesting if if somebody from another foreign country is talking the language and they're being disrespectful and being i mean just going off on you you don't know what the hell they're saying you don't even know and you could give you could care less you just looking at them and you just mm, let me go about my way you know but somebody else when you're understanding you're giving them they're putting fuel and you allowing them to fuel this fire within and you just explode and it's just like we got to stop doing that we got to stop it we got to treat people in certain situations like they speak in another language and just walk away so that's been my motto lately and that's what me and my clients been talking about this week y'all is just learning how to distribute the energy in the right areas and not give it to things or people that don't deserve it so yeah uh these little tweezers i love them they get they get set out baby i mean i'll be having that flick of the wrist with the ingrown so it'll be getting it out really don't want to go in this store you know how you sometimes just don't want to move yeah having one of those moments just got all gotta go run home to my babies get them situated hmm the lovely life month mom slash esthetician Mm. it's a beautiful life I'm speaking it into existence <laughs> no I'm grateful and thankful that I'm not going to even lie to you every day is a is a great day seriously nobody's sick my kids not disabled you know they got their mind I got mine my feet work, toes work, hands work you know I can eat, swallow it be those type of things that I have to like when I'm going through situations that I really have to like what can I do what am I able to do you know and be grateful and thankful for that because man life will beat you down if you let it you know when you get into the what you don't have and what how I can I accumulate this so I can get that it's like man we are already abundant so let's just embrace it I embrace it. Oh, I haven't forgot y'all. I'm still diving into the cycle sinking. It is super duper dope. All for my ladies. It's really for the menstrual cycle awareness. I have been really gaining knowledge and applying it, you know, so I'll be able to come back with some wisdom. But it's really been great. I mean, me linking up with my menstrual has really just created this death and rebirth analogy for me like it's keeping me more present making me want to be you know in a, in a in a thriving state internally and externally so i can't wait to just break it down to y'all and just you know share my experience with cycle syncing i think as women once we do that man we will really be able to rest in our soft life for real and not do so much and just sat down and do nothing 
<laughs> but I hope y'all have a lovely day. I hope you are taking time to just rest. And it's okay to rest, y'all. I don't let nobody tell you that you need to keep going and going and going all day, every day. Okay? Gotta take a break sometimes. Oh, yes. I love y'all. Be great. Make it prolific today, okay? Mwah. <laughs>